dandyforum.co.uk. Um, we're going to do a short video now, now to show you how to put up a Dandy Destiny. The Dandy Destiny High Side. And the reason it's known as the High Side is because this unit's got um, a fridge inside it rather than the low side, which is only this high, which tends to be sort of um, the older models. So, what we need to first of all do is take off the tarp, open up the Caligas bottle um, cover here, and The big tip is to make sure you do take out the gas bottles, otherwise um, you're going to get stuck because when the bed's over you're not going to be able to, to change them. I'm also just going to level up with a spirit level. If you come and have a closer look here now, you can see um, here we've got the bubble um, which is indicating we're okay this way. But when we come to put down the legs in a moment, we will be altering it to actually bring this up so we know that we're level. Okay? Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to take over the tarpaulin and you'll notice underneath here um, there's quite a lot of storage space where we store um, a number of items. So, roll this over. What we'll do now is remove the items uh, and then we'll show you how to put it up once, once we're finished. Okay, thank you. Okay, as you can see in the Destiny, you have got quite a story space that you can actually get into and we keep um, our chocks for the legs inside here, which we're going to take out now for each of the corners. And all we need to do with this now is wind down the Wind down the legs here, make sure it's right on the centre and we'll just kiss it down and we'll come to level it up in a moment. So we're just going to do this now for all four corners and then we'll come back in a moment. Thank you. Okay, as you can see the last time we were camping, um, we were on a rather muddy camp so we've got a lot of mud on here. That's the whole beauty of the dandy with PVC, this was just all washed out later with a, with a damp sponge. The secret when we put up the dandy to remember, when you put it up, it's a bit like marching. You put the left side up first, then the right side. So it's left, right, we you put it down, it's right, left. So we're just going to take the PVC now and put the PVC back. And just give it a flick over. Very important now. Take the cords. People ask how long these are, so I'll just give you an idea. And these go on the end buttons here. Make sure that whatever happens, you don't get the cords stuck here on the buttons. Pull out the leg. Okay. And we slowly lift it up. Watch now how the hands up. And the bed supports slot in, make sure they're slotted in. Okay. Nice and easy. If you are putting up on a very windy day, best to put this end into the wind, not the other way around. It is a bit windy at the moment, it's not too bad because the PVC can flip over so we can put it up on a very windy day, but this end faces the wind. Okay. Back to your cords again. It's on to the end.
Okay. So I've already packed them last time. I'm just going to pull out. And quite simply, this wall has got gas struts, so it's very light to lift up. And up it comes. I'm going to take the back wall, I'm going to put that up, and I'm going to attach one of the roof poles. Very simple, and if you have a look here now, it's going to pull out what's uh, meant to refer to as the back wings. And if you have come and have a look closely, see we've got a little connector here when we lift the Bed, be, bed board up these will connect into here so what we're going to do now we're going to release the shock cord here very important look up right up on the roof here it connects it clicks into place that's really important and on these just keep an eye on this because it can pop out so always check that these stays in here and on the other side so we're just taking a little bit of slack. A bit of caught on this side wall. Just hang on a moment. So, let's pull that. Yay! Yay! Again, I'm going to check that these bars are in here at the moment. So. If you look down this back here, you've got bungee cords under here, bungee cords under here, and here. this side up and we repeat the same on this one so bar up cords out in here uncheck the bed And what's on your bungees? So we have a little bit of wind here, so the roof has just come off slightly. So what I'm going to do in a moment, I'm going to get Sandra to pull the back and I'll just line this up. So a little bit of a tip, you can climb up onto the unit and push this up with your hands or if not you can use a broom and use a broom and just push this up. shocks and we take a record pull it round in a figure of eight yeah. 
at the moment you see this is loose so what we're going to do now so this so this one if you watch the roof now as I pull the roof down nice and tight and then round the button here pull it round and down nice and secure all right so here we are inside the destiny and you'll see we've got a lot of junk in here uh, that was packed up when we last put it away so we've got heaters awning toilet kitchen units wardrobes waste containers uh, a whole raft of things so i'm just going to very quickly now take out everything and um, get ready to assemble the inside okay so back inside and we've now got the kitchen unit uh, lifted into place um, this gives us the sink uh, I say there is a bit muddy because we were just out camping it's a rather muddy site last time with the electric water pump we've got a four ring cooker and grill little tips when you do put the sink unit on make sure your waste pipe is connected here and if you go inside it's very very easy to forget but make sure you put your bottom pipe onto the sink um, more storage space with bits in here we've got a fridge this is what we call a three-way fridge so this will work on gas 12 volt or electric freezer compartment so you can make ice even if you're not on the electric another storage unit um, this has got our main fuse box inside here and storage space and more drawers here three of them all full of bits that we use because we do a lot of camping we don't just sit talking about our dandies we're out in it on a very regular basis this wardrobe has been converted and so we've actually got some shelves in it rather than being a wardrobe um, more story space we've got privacy curtains um, here these are up at the moment we can have privacy curtains down at this end with a roof liner and also a curtain pelmet which we're not actually put up at the moment it's a double bed at this end or oh, that can be folded up into a settee single seat again another double bed at the end that can be folded into a settee and the middle piece here we have a table that can go here um, or it can be made into a, another double bed gives you six berths we use this particular one here at the moment this has got all our storage for um, sleeping bags so just uh, carrying them about and when we transport our pillows and some of our cushions we actually transport those in the wardrobe into this dandy we've got um, a Propex gas heating system uh, which runs off 12 volts it gives off an incredible amount of heat so even if we're not on electric uh, hookup we can sit in bed and we can control um, our heating with cold air warm air we've got a thermostat and fan speeds um, and that's a blow air system and that's actually coming from the Propex heater which actually blows out to the bottom here uh, and this is absolutely fabulous it's incredibly uh, incredibly hot so let's us uh, go out camping and we don't even need to have electricity to keep nice and warm and toasty um, so let's just put this down and put some cushions back on okay, one thing you'll notice with the dandy on the roof you've got these um, little eyelets and these we put um, bungees in and this stops the roof the wind catches up from flapping it actually um, keeps the rain out very simple to do um, just fasten them on we're not putting these on at the moment because we're going to be putting up an awning very shortly uh, another one on this side we've got them here as well um, little tip if you notice that we hook them from the back not the front uh, your instinct is to put them in this way and that's uh, that's wrong so 
so there we go with this. Right, that's the electric hookup and grey waste connected and fresh water pumping into a container uh, needs coming over. Things underneath here. Um, and this has got a really decent sized awning on it. So the Sun Camp um, Platinum Vision XL awning. And the awning just fits on a standard awning rail that we've actually put onto the uh, onto the side of the dandy. Um, actually, tons of space in here. We actually tend to cook in here and have our chairs and tables out, uh, which we'll be putting out shortly. Um, let me put some flooring down, make it nice and comfortable. We'll even have a port of loose in the corner. And uh, there you go. That's how easy it is to actually put up the dandy. And here we are. That's the dandy destiny all set up with the awning on. Um, right by the hills at a campsite called a forest near Brecon Beacons, um, all secured down, got the back skirt on um, with a number of things being stored underneath, needs a bit of a clean as I said the last camp we did was very 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 muddy um, so the whole dandy needs a bit of a clean up, all set up, water's on, waste on, um, some wood for a campfire later inside the awning here, our lucky little gnome and this is Sky our dog and this is Russia our other dog rescued all the way from Romania uh, if you want to find out any more about these fantastic campers come and visit the Dandy Forum you'll find us at www.dandyforum.co.uk we welcome everybody to come and join us on our meets. You don't have to be a dandy owner. Uh, we're not an exclusive site, unlike some others. Uh, and everybody will be made more than welcome. So visit us again at www.dandyforum.co.uk.